fuck. I don't give a fuck. Let's go. <laughs> It's the same everywhere I go Every time I look cheap It's all a bunch of offended up type pussies Society wears your balls Political correctness then turns you soft It's like you can't even tell a joke These damn days it's like a good joke Some floppy dildo you pussies can't take Just get ready okay The shit talking cunts don't give a fuck What your gender or race, gender or race. So bitch you're pissed off of what Use a pussy and list the shit talking cunts on so bitch, you're pissed off with what? Cause he's a pussy and this the shit talking cunts on. Rubs a ball! For shit talking cunts podcast. With your host, Irish O'Neill. And overtime often. Sit back, spark up, and enjoy. What's up, you bad motherfuckers? We're back. We're back, and we, dude, this is the fucking the the trilogy, if you will. I mean, they're gonna be bought more than three times, but we, it's fucking, it's the shit talking cunts podcast, guys. I'm your host, Irish O'Neill. Overtime Offens here, and we got the boys from the Perfectly Misfit podcast, Dan Webb and Renee Incarnacion. What's, What's up, going man? on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Perfectly Misfit. It's uh fucking great to have Joey. Wait, in, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Just hold Puerto on. Rican overtime right off the bat. On the hold fucking the phone. show, you know, hold fucking, the fucking having flag fucking, on the field. We do this every week, you know, it's just me and Dan. Penalty. And oh, every, every now and then we have a couple guests on. This week we have Joey, fucking Irish O'Neal from the fucking it's Halloween, not April Fool's. Network. Come on. And we've got overtime often. Your fucking favorite fucking mass hole fucking rapper. In the house, guys. Great to have you on. What's going on? No, see that, that that's clearly just so Renee doesn't have to. He's can, this is an easy backup episode for Renee. He could just take our episode when it's done, cut it right at when he started, and boom, it's just fucking. It's too, dude. Actually, that's a great idea. We could we could be getting two podcasts in one with like podcasts should just come together and do that. They just each do a start. And then fucking oh, you're good to go, dude. Oh, that's great. Hot Joey, Joey, yes, guys. Joey, uh, and uh, over time, what are you guys plugging? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me uh, what are you guys plug in today. Uh, First, I'm, I feel uh, bad about uh, botching your intro. So if you want to do it again, you can. Second, if you don't oh, want to do great. it again. Is that uh, at dot com or uh, or is it just your at? <laughs> Second, great. if you don't want to do it again, I understand. <laughs> that's great. And you can find me at uh overtime often dot com oh I got all my links there for my uh social media music video got any new music. tracks dropping soon or what's going yeah, on real soon that, actually i sent one to joey joey what? should be working on it that's fucking i want another dope. one so i wish you so. would have sent it to me you know next time you, we have you guys joey. on the show uh we'll make sure to fucking drop that track right here in the middle of it that's what don't worry about it uh what about you joey what are you plugging today bro uh, I'd like to plug my unending rage. Uh, it actually, people think that with time it would like slowly smolder, but it actually, funny enough, just continues to fucking burn into an uncontrollable fire. Kind of like the uh, the one in Far From Home, Spider Man, or the fire monster, and he just keeps like fucking. The more metal he comes across, it's like it's like that dude. The more metal I become, and the metal is my hatred and anger for people pissing me off and being dumb cunts. The stronger I become. It's funny, someone today, uh, and we'll get into it even on, in a comment thing, was like, like the, the too long didn't read of what they were trying to say essentially is like, or, you know, like, why, why are you wasting time like in this comment section thing? And I'm like, I just flat out was like, oh, I'm taking a shit right now. Like, this means fucking nothing to me. It means nothing. Like, I could... They, like I used to get into this with fucking like the dummies in Boston comedy when they try and fucking argue with me is like uh, my old co-host for Midlife Isis. He told me, he was like, they're not quick, dude. They're not quick on their feet. So like I'd notice I'd say some shit to them and then it'd take them like 30 minutes to reply. And then I'd read the reply and then instantly have a reply and then walk away. I'm like, this isn't a thing I sit here like y'all and just fucking think about it. Like, hmm, I look at it and I go, huh, you're a fucking asshole. Suck my dick, Sen. And then just walk away. It's like, you know, I don't, I, there's no thought required. You're not worthy of that beyond that. Anyways, you can find me at It's Irish O'Neill on all social media <laughs> platforms. Follow our podcast, Shit Talking Cunts. Um, we're everywhere. Come suck on. my dick. Um, oh. Yeah, suck my dick. <laughs> so on that note, guys, uh, so uh, what's up, man? You, you want to talk some shit? I feel like that's an easy transition to, to talking some shit. But we don't want to do our plugs. No, we don't plug anything on this show. <laughs> Guys, if you're not plug, following God, perfectly, too much content. delete us, faggots. Ew, ew, ew. Too, too much content.com. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. 
It's actually dot live, services. but oh dot live. I didn't yeah. know you were got their that. services. Fucking one of the best production Bougie. companies, whatever you want to call them, whatever they want to call themselves out there in the world. Uh, they uh-huh. fucking provide hardcore dedicated services, which is awesome. Like if they're fucking on board with your shit, they are on board with your shit and their fucking loyalty is unwavering, <laughs> which is something we appreciate here on um, perfectly misfit. Uh, you know, the podcast that we record every Tuesday, <laughs> every Tuesday, every Wednesday. <laughs> Oh, I'm off and yeah, right. up. He just walked the fuck away from this just clown I'm like, I'm uh, listening. Don't worry. But uh, yeah, no, no. If you want want to find any of uh, Dan's shit, you can check him out uh, at WebSlinger25. All my shits, I uh, bet you I did. Every time I get a fucking shout out from a fucking celebrity, they leave out the I. It's always bet you did. I'm like, hey, there's a big old capital I right there. It's bet you I did. Come on. Get it together, folks. Um, Yeah. Besides that, check out fucking by underscore mish m-o-u-s-h this fucking oh, bitch shit. got this some fucking badass weird. products out there she's fucking bitch dropping the candles. fucking Have hardcore candle? candles like she got them fucking candy candles uh, my, 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 my bitch made me proud today hey, listen. the soldier I, I gotta right. tell you that story later it was fucking great she just fucking gave the slap down on a bitch online wait I was going to say, did she beat up a homeless person like you did? No, dude. I'd I'd fucking have to marry her on the spot if she did that. Jesus. (laughs) The legendary story of fucking Irish. He's two for two with homeless people. (laughs) Oh, three for three. Yeah. I I don't know. There's another one. No, last one was a home. Uh, I think I told it last week. Hey, oh, if you want to talk, why don't you come on camera? You fuck. Oh, no, no, I'm like, God, you you can hear me, but I'm not there. God, God, yeah. God lives in a nicer place than you, my friend. Uh, yeah, he lives on the ground. He's like the mole man. <laughs> yeah, no. Last week, um, it wasn't a homeless guy. It was just some forty-year-old uh, Mexican guy, and uh, I saw him fucking like soccer kick a little dog. And dog, I from like ten Wait. feet away, I like I, the way I described it to him was like you know, you know, if you're like a um. You're playing baseball and you're in the outfield and you catch a ball and you got to really like fucking hum it to home. So you do that little, they, they call it a crow, crow hop. step. Yeah, the crow step. You do the crow. I fucking crow stepped into this punch and dude, I just blasted this guy in the face as hard as I could. Lands on the ground and I just get in his face and I'm like, if you get up before I walk away, I'll gouge your fucking eyes out. <laughs> and just by the way, this is when I knew I What's loved the dog New York. owner do? This was the dog owner. Oh, yeah, this was the dog owner. He fucking Uh-oh. soccer kicked the dog. So I ran up and fucking just blasted him in the face because, hey, maybe you'd like the, the little dog can't fucking do the dog was taking a piss on the sidewalk. You know what a dog would do. And he fucking just soccer kicked it. Well, and then yeah, he did, well, and then this, this old lady was walking by him right after he soccer kicked it. And she was like, what's wrong with you? And he was like, mind your business, lady. And that's when I fucking started my fucking sprint crow step just blasted him. And then I was, I was like, I got to be scary. So I said the fucking gouge your eyes out was like the fastest thing I could think of on my feet. I love how many assaults fucking Irish admits to on his show. By the way, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> fucking broad daylight. <laughs> broad day, it was really good because I had gone to get my, uh, I had just dropped my glasses off to get my new ones and stuff. So they, they were putting the new lenses in and like, I always tell people this. I'm like, you'll know if I'm about to fucking fight you because when you take the step, glasses off. Step one, the second these come off, that should at least get your attention. You're like, he's either cleaning them or he's gonna fuck someone up. And uh-huh. I didn't even have them with me, so I'm just walking down the street like this, and I'm like, I'm ready to fight already. Nice. Yeah, I Nobody came up said, with a gouge your eyes out because he started to say, "Yeah, before I do, and I'll suck your cock." And then he's like, "No, no, no, I'll suck your cock in the streets." <laughs> You know what I bet? I bet what would have stopped him from fucking kicking that dog? <coughs> a good old fashioned bounce pass. Dude, should we get into it? All right. I think, I mean, I, you know what? I think we got to lead in with that and then we'll get to the other shit. I mean, some, some say lead, save the best for last, but like it was, it was almost like. I kind of want to get it out of the way. Just I, dude, it's, it's going to, I'm not going to be able to stop thinking about it. I'm out of the fucking way already. Let's All right. Get so, out of the way. <laughs> I already know. I got I a little gonna, treat for you guys. Way about it as well. <laughs> uh, Dan, uh, Dan also uh, contributed. The Dan, uh, Dan was doing some research and uh, we both were just kind of like after the last two episodes, like, you know what? There's got to be a way to dethrone O's fucking bounce pass. It's a pretty good fucking bounce no pass. But Impossible. is there better? Impossible. Now, Dan scoured the internet and found what he thinks is, a, is, is his submission for best one. 
I personally spent the last two months fucking just studying the way of the playmaking dog. I fucking honed my skills. Oh, oh, you put your fucking camera back on, you son of a bitch. Somebody's What's calling me, bro. God damn. Well, sorry. You, put that, you put that do not disturb on, because I'm going to have to edit that and fucking switch from a four to a How three do I do frame. That? I, don't you? I don't know. Don't you oh. swipe down? There's some like do not disturb or some bullshit. Now, nah, okay. Now I'm getting text. That's fucking great. Well, he's on oh, iPhone. Oh my no fucking gives a shit. Oh my god. Do not disturb. Do not. Disturb. I remember my first podcast. Do Jesus Christ. I mean, this is what do you want? What do you Year three. Behold my show? powers. I go from a three and four frame back Man, and fuck forth. That. I'm just sending them the voicemail. Come on, old school oh. fashion. <laughs> okay. Oh. So. So I spent, I just was studying the way of the playmaking with the fucking monks of ball, dude. And I think I have compiled what I would say is roughly my, Hitler? my three ish submissions, Hitler. my three ish submissions for what I think are my, uh, my greatest bounce pass to throne overtime often. So let's <laughs> just, just for a refresher, let's start with what is currently the reigning champ. Shall we? The 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 overtime on, the often, OG. the classic, the OG, the fucking the, the behind the through the leg. The one that started it all, if you will, gents. Behold. This is the I standard. This is what we're going to call from now on. This is, this the, is standard. the standard. The standard. This, this is like the fucking 10 wow. in the dunk contest. Now, you know, good ball move is wow. moving. They're trying to Can penetrate. Lag me for anybody else? No, just you, because you're on a phone. O's got it. He's decision making. Decision. Whoop. Behind the back. Nice. That's fucking Yo, beautiful, how, dude. How can you find a better pass than that? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Nah. As I rewatch it, it's, it's it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. I'm really pretty pretty sweating. It's because he's he's got the left trigger held, so he's got defensive back, and then he's just dropping it with it. I mean, looking, it's a it's a behind the back bounce pass to a guy who's cutting in the lane. That's fucking. That's pretty nice, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, guys. But. Let's take a look. Now, I didn't. I haven't even watched Dan's, and I haven't shown Dan or Renee. Renee hasn't seen any of these, I don't think. No. Uh, so first here, we have Dan's. This is Dan's submission, simply called NBA 2K20 Great Bounce Pass. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else we need to know about this, Dan, or is it just fucking let her rip? Absolutely not. Just watch it because it's way better than the first one. I will first, tell you, his better is, than the OG one. one. We now, have a challenge. His, his is 20, and mine was 21, and this looks like a career game, doesn't it? Joey that that now that's true now I will say that in my submissions one or two one or two of my passes is a career game but I did include ones from the park so it's real people that I will, I will add that you would you, in the in the career you do have a little more control because you can tell the bots to like you know hey he's getting defensive no no I'm just I'm First being fair to all, O. I'm being fair to O. all right he, I get all that. this but yeah we did not discuss this before we started grabbing hey, hey a good videos. bounce pass is a good bounce pass because as far as i'm concerned also the other okay. end of that coin let's go with that the, let's the go AI, with that let's go the with ai's that. also can be retarded the ai can also be fucking retarded you could have a center that has no business ever shooting a three and he's just standing out there and you pass him and he's like i got it guys and he throws it up so the ai can be retarded but i will say that there's there should be a slight edge given to with real people because real people on the other end you got to coordinate that the internet bullshit you don't have control of where they're going a little more, you know, nuance, but, and also it's, well, let's note with this one, they, they're opting a little the, more uh, intuitiveness going on. Yeah. The, also, oh, and I typically play with that top down kind of a two K four ten height. This person's going okay. the old classic side to side angle, like real game. So let's take a look. Gentlemen, That's disgusting. I know. I kind of hate it. Right? <laughs> yeah. I kind of hate it already too. Oh, uh, uh, not yet. This way, but let's see the angle. Ooh. It, okay. Oh, that was sick. Okay, can I be honest? It's a good pass. the needle, baby. It's not as flashy, though. Look at it. it he just, it's a little it simple bounce to, pass. It's, it's we're talking clean. the yeah, greatest. You know, Dan, we're Listen, talking the greatest bounce pass. Or the you greatest want me to dissect period. this for you? It says great bounce, bounce pass to my defense. You want me to dissect yeah. this? Was that not I'll dissect this a for you. great bounce pass? Yeah, but you trying to bring that bounce bounce pass to fucking overtime often fucking bounce pass, bro? I, mean, I, I shit, swear dude. it's a better. I mean, it's a I don't better even fuck overall bounce pass. Okay. Oh hell, no. Dan, I'm gonna be honest. I yo, don't. I'm hate, about to. Oh, yeah, yo, yo, I don't I'm hate the bounce pass. Executive decision and not but, allow Dan back on the show. <laughs> I'm a lot with seniority <laughs> rules. I'm not, yo, bro. Don't don't you dare insult my boy O like that. Hell no! You're talking about uh -oh. threading the uh -oh. needle. Puerto Ricans are that dude together. was that dude was too handy. They're assimilating. Ba basic bow, ba basic. Fries and plantains quickly. No, dude. 
<laughs> I've seen fucking seven year olds do better fucking passes than that. I mean, it was I, good, I, but not that good. I, I, Watch out, there's yeah. another hurricane coming. Not I mean, overtime. Here, here's my problem. Here's my problem with this pass. That's in like, like motion, like fast break. They're like on the break. Yeah, my shit was in the half court. Yeah, 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 I had that, the whole defense. You, that was a play up. you orchestrated. You were you were thinking exactly. you watched it unfold. I, I will give you this that. shit is fair. some LeBron but, James on the break, the most like the greatest player on earth type shit. Like the goodest. That's that's what right. Right. Well, so li- these are the factors for me as I break it down. Right. So like when O did it, he's he's got defensive posture, so he's got the left trigger held, and he's got back to the basket. So he's looking this way at the basket. Guys coming this way behind him, and he simply takes the ball, and he goes behind him, bounce pass down like that. So already you got to give him points for the flashiness because it's – Play a it no- again. Oh, hang on. Well, I'm just I, – for O's, I'm just giving my criteria. Like it's – you know, it's a flash. Motherfucker, play it again. Like the pass, there's there's flashiness. There has to be flashiness in the pass, and then the way the pass gets there, and then they, whether they what they do with it. So right. So like with this guy, he the way Dude, he, he threads the, the needle. He threads right. the well, he threads the needle. But like, look at this guy's posture, looking right. So like, he's not going to be able to turn left to get through this little hole. It was a glitch in the game. Otherwise, he would have got it. But All right, but, like, but this, but ready. I the the way he delivers the pass is simple. Like. 1940s like bounce pass like the way he, the delivery of the I'm pass is isn't so flashy it's not fucking great like, like, oh, it's, a it's, great a, bounce it's okay pass. So, so then if the if the if the way he it's leaving him isn't flashy then the way it like gets through the traffic has to fucking make up for that flashiness and to me i just don't think it's enough here i mean this in this angle right here it looks great where you can see like the pass is already and, i mean beginning. dan feel free to be harsh on mine too i'm just i'm we're talking we got we're really we're these are the best of the best we've got to really be cunty about it you know what i mean like these Wait, are, I, I totally agree. Benny? these beat out was 200 Ren- other applicants this is the best was renee I able to pull up any part of i don't know renee if you want if in the meantime when i bought my if you want to try and find some but oh no <laughs> wow. i'm standing i'm still standing behind right. oh all right all right fair what, enough what y'all don't know is Irish and I send most of these bounce pass to each other on a weekly basis. So oh, yeah, no, I've got no a social way. life. I'm sorry, guys. I have a social. Yeah, life. we we spend at least ten hours a week on this, guys. It's ridiculous. This is, we put in the fucking I don't research. Play this, I haven't played this game in weeks. What's wrong with you fools? <laughs> That's <laughs> and, how way, obsessed we are with bounce passes. All right. Way, I, I texted before and I go, "Hey, can you send me the the link to the fucking bounce pass that we always watch when Dan and Renee come on?" And he's like. <laughs> He's like, what are you talking about? I haven't played that game in weeks. And I was like, <laughs> I go, no, 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 not any new ones. The one we always fucking watch. Like, I, like I got annoyed because I'm like, there's no way you don't know what I'm fucking talking about. We fucking the we bounce this, pass. Come the on, bounce pass. The stupid the bit we do Let's every go, time, bitch. <laughs> OK. Yo, oh, I was confused. I'm like, what game? All right, all right let's see this. We got another one. Oh, now these, I love to see. Hold on. Shout out boy. to Joey Diaz. I just saw Uncle Joey in the corner there. Shout out to your suggested. Dog. Dude, all right. These oh now oh you gotta come back, dude. You can't be hiding this is a long between your clip. legs. One one eighteen. Getting a now, beer. Ready? A beer. Ready this production value. I I assimilated the the six or seven clips that I had into oh, one clip. Shit, that's oh, nice. Top and down. Just I, what it said. I want you to know how Irish pure. submission for Lord of the Pass. <laughs> I want you to know how pure I was with this. Two of those clips I took out because they were they weren't passes they were me hitting like really disgusting guy in my face fade away game winning threes but i was like this isn't about shooting it's about fucking passing i am the lord <laughs> of the pass. but but let me tell you they were so those those shots were so disgusting you would have thought that the announcer in game when it happened it sounds like he takes his headphones off and just hurls them against the wall as hard as he can in excitement he's like holy fucking shit <laughs> he fucking did it he's like freaking the fuck out dude the fuck but it doesn't do? matter because we weren't fucking pat uh, just dirty fucking fadeaway threes <laughs> game winning shots buzzer readers all right but these are this was pure fucking passing and i want you to note this first little clip of like three seconds is not even me passing it's literally the guy saying like he's really committed to the craft of playmaking and i just wanted to put that in <laughs> a douchebag <laughs> He's put in the work to become a better playmaker. I only got done for this money. If you don't, then I ain't fucking with your big drops. Big runs at random on a weekly. Who knows? Might even bump it to your cake style. Okay, so that was nice. That first one, I pump fake and then bounce it behind him. Oh, yeah, let's take a and shout out to Dylan Negri. This is Dylan Negri right here. This fucking cornball with the fucking goofy Hawaiian fit. <laughs> he would wear that fucking dildo. So, okay, so 
I'm driving. I catch a pass. I'm driving. J.R. Smith style step back. Hold the defender, fake, and pass it around for the dog. Joey, you know, that's way better than the pass that um, Dan submitted. Yeah, for sure. Players. Oh, yes, let's go. Right now. Let's go. All right, not going to lie. It was tough to decide. He made that? He made that? <laughs> Bro, he made that shit. Ready? Okay, I fucking dry. Watch okay, this pass. Okay, better made that. Our camera's right here maybe blocking it. So let me see if I can move them a little bit. But like. This guy's got to catch this I you pass well. over fucking here, dude, and make this three. I this you is well, my so boy. gross. Runs at random on a weekly. Spin. Oh, shit, let's go. Oh. All right, I'm going to inter intervene real quick. That wasn't a fucking bounce pass, though. Yep. Does it have to be specific? No, that wasn't. Yeah, it's a fucking bounce pass. What are you Fair kidding enough. me? I thought it was just that greatest wasn't. pass. It's all about the fucking bounce pass. It's all about the bounce pass. Don't worry, I've got, I've got a bounce pass. coming. Really? I've got Joey, a bounce Are you coming. kidding me? Okay. Don't even, I, I, like, that was DQ right there. Anyway, fuck. So just, fuck it was a great him. pass. I'm just proud of him. It's a fucking fuck great up. pass, right? It's a great pass. Bro. But is That's, it a bounce but, pass? Fuck off. <laughs> no, it's not a bounce pass. Nope. Nope. Yo, I swear to God, this better have bounce. No bounce. No bounce. Yeah. Don't worry. The bounce is coming. The bounce is coming. He know the bands are make up. I don't know why you spent so much time on that. There's a fucking why are you? Why did you replay that one? It was a one-on-one. -on -one. That was nothing special. No bounce. It's all right. They were just bad. Oh, the nice. bounce is coming, dude. I'm just showcasing the passing. <laughs> the bounce is coming. The next one might be. Wait, this might be. This He's might be building it. it to the bounce. So it better be the best bounce. Oh, shit. Nope. Was that a bounce? That was fucking that A. Was that was a bounce, but shit. it wasn't like... Yeah, O's is still the best. And well, I'm still right. going in on that. Oh, that was dude, I threaded that through... Watch this. I thread this through two more. Did it go through his legs? I couldn't tell. Watch this shit. Nope. Watch this shit. Around him and behind him. Oh. That's a good one. It's a good one? That's I'm a good still one. giving it to O. I'm still Yo, giving Dan, it I oh. hope you don't take long to lay it up with that white nigga. No, no, no. By the way, pissed me off. So, yeah, I see, yeah, he, he fucking. He should have gone right up with that. He fucking walked under the bounce. I'm like, you prick, put it up. <laughs> uh, so, okay, well, you know what? Fair enough, boys. I know the assignment. Bounce passes only. Give me another month. I'll have fucking six more ones that'll be disgusting. Uh, now you gotta have us back on, you fucking cunt. Naturally. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just got my PlayStation 5 back, so I will have some bounce pass videos coming soon. Fucking the game is yeah. on, dude. The game yeah. is fucking yeah. on. Yeah, it's only between you two now, right? By the way, Dan has PlayStation O and he's talking about getting 2K. So you guys That was fucking... supposed to be a secret for the next time, cocksucker. You didn't say it was gonna be a no. secret. Dan, Dan, please. And you know what? I'll this this will be great powerful because we could make this into a, ch a, new, a challenge. Inside. Because because you two have PlayStation, but Renee and I have Xbox. <laughs> so Renee, we're you got to get two K, and then Renee is not gonna care. The, the next to challenge, the next challenge is gonna be O and I are point guards, and we've got to feed a dirty <coughs> pounce pass to our our assigned perfectly misfit co-host. And I was about to um to ask if you, any of you guys if you guys play Warzone that'd be a pretty cool like little random thing we could do together maybe do like a oh Twitch yeah because that's cross platform we could all play that shit yeah we could all play that shit uh, uh, uh. Well, dude we should see do then that we yeah so we, yeah I, then we, I haven't played that we can carry overtime ever, I will overtime doesn't I haven't like, played in months dude like, but, uh, I play Warzone but oh, still something okay. else we can, can I, there's can a suggestion we can have some fun that'd be fucking dope. Remember, I live Nobody out in the country. Me. I just got good enough internet to fucking podcast. So I haven't played an online game in forever. Fair enough. But I, th I think Streets it's still rage. seven years. <laughs> it would still be fun. Streets of Rage. Streets of Rage 4. Streets of Rage I don't think that's cross-platform. Yeah, but Call Yo, did you guys, so um, since Call we're on the topic is, of, um, it is, of video it is games. It is cross-platform. It is, it is, it is. Uh, uh, speaking of... um. You know, video games, since we're here and we can just like transition over. Did you guys see they're going to drop uh, three of the OG Grand Theft Autos? November. Yeah, I don't. I think I November care. 11th. Are you fucking it's kidding? Pretty, here's my problem. I just I don't, don't want to pay no. like $60 for it. It's kind of like suck my dick. 60 bucks for care, three no. games? But it's. I don't it, care. Remastered? I played those games over and over and over and over again. I want to play them again. Like to me, to me, and maybe this is shitty of me. 
like 30 bucks. If they gave them to me for free, I wouldn't play them, just to be honest with you, Renee. Uh, like, I need a new game. I need Grand Theft Auto 6. So yeah, I, was, I love that. Yeah, to be honest, Renee, so much. I never, like, I really want to fucking just, he, look, I was just want to have look, it to own it. I'm getting you know sick I mean? and tired of looking at this one. Look, look at it right now. <laughs> I, I actually said that to myself. You, you, like, the last fucking... Grand Theft Auto game I played was Vice City. Yeah, we'll see. This, what this I'm is saying. my problem, right? Is it's like I love that one. Personally, never really gave a fuck about three. Three was I played it a couple times. I was like, eh, it's okay. Vice City fucking rules and San Andreas rules. Now I've recently, within the last year, play, replayed San Andreas. So I don't really give a fuck. But then Vice City, I'm like, that would be fucking cool because I got it on yeah. Steam, but the controls are all fucked up and dumb. So I'm like, okay, like for Vice City would be cool. But then it's like I got to buy these other ones. I'm not paying sixty bucks for all that shit. I, I mean, just for like I'm, a kind of cartoony sheen they put over it. Too. I fucking need it, man. Like, I really like I wanted to have it and I probably could have easily just like gotten a fucking emulator sent to me from my homie yeah, or something. You but, sound like you need some bounce passes in your life, Renee. I'm going to be honest. No, man. No, no, I'm going to give you the same. I'm going to give you the same sales pitch. I gave all of my friends, Renee. Dirty Mike and, and, and Justin, who play who, by the way, don't watch wow. basketball at all. Don't give a fuck about basketball. Do you know why they play 2K? Because they do it the same reason as me. Now, I actually like basketball, but I watch it. But there's kids that all they fucking play is 2K. Their whole life is they're, they're those fucking sports fags. That's like, that's all they care about is like sports, 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 basketball. Like they're like, yeah, blah, 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 my team, blah, blah. And I just kind of like playing basketball. But every time I beat those kids, which is most of them, which is a lot of the time, the satisfaction I know that I really don't give that much of a shit about this and this is their life. It's just uh -huh. more satisfying than anything else. I didn't Knowing know that how, their life. how serious Irish was about basketball. Oh, until yeah, one of his no. stupid posts on Facebook. I commented on joking about he said all these different players are great. And I'm like, oh, they suck. Like, what are you talking about? And he came back what? at me hot. And I'm like, whoa, dude, I don't <laughs> what, know shit about basketball. This? I haven't watched it since the Bad Boys, the Pistons era. What post was this? I'm trying to remember. It, dude, it was like three or four months ago. I honestly, like, no. it was came back hot as fuck. I had to message you to be like, yo, dude, you know I don't know anything about basketball, right? And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> really? You were like brother. legit hot as fuck at me. It was hilarious. Joey's like, fuck, I'm, I'm going to have been basketball. on a podcast. <laughs> Fuck basketball. Look That's it. so funny to me. Wait, wait. Are you the first rapper ever to say fuck basketball? Probably. But I'm talking about as far as video games and us playing together. Ninja Turtles is coming out next year. The cross video game? I mean, I'm down. Two. I love Ninja yes, Turtles. Cross-platform 2D type, you know, with the <laughs> updated animation, side-scrolling, up and down, whatever. Goddamn. You know, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the Suicide Squad game. That's coming out. That too. Hopefully that's cross platform too. It's only been like storyline shit. It hasn't been anything of actual gameplay yet. So I'm like nervous. You think they're going to give a uh, Pete Davidson a character? Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully he'll not be himself with being Pete Davidson. Oh, guys, let's check it out. I'm going to fucking bet. Oh, my God. Guys. My dad died. I love him, guys. Crazy. I don't even know how I got here. Lois is a of dickheads and Lauren Michaels is like my real dad. <laughs> oh I love O's face at the end of this shit while you guys are doing all the voices. He just shakes his head and looks down. He's like, God damn it. Yeah. I lost That's my other one. Minority. On. Yeah. Yeah, I could care less. He talks shit to, about Louis C.K. You can suck a dick. Who talks shit about Louis C.K.? Pete Davidson back, Pete Davison back no, in the Davison. day. He was like, oh, okay. he, was all, he was on the like Fox Lois look kind of train. <laughs> Um, I think uh, I'm just old and I don't understand Pete Davidson. I, Joey, I so um, what's the uh, next segment we're doing on uh, Perfectly Misfit tonight? Um, this segment is called um, My Bitch Made Me Proud. And on this segment, I'm going to tell you uh, that my bitch made me very proud today and this week because... Uh, she fucking bum up? No, no, but she um, she slam dunked <laughs> on a girl that thought she was going to like get some like you know, you know, when girls like have nothing left to argue with and then they pull some like, come on, girls, let's rally shit. And then she tried this girl, this random stranger tried to pull that to like make me look like an asshole. And my girl just fucking slam dunked on her. So Kevin Samuels, I'm sure you're familiar with the great Kevin Samuels. Yeah. You guys watch his stuff at all. 
Uh, I've seen a couple oh, of things. Oh, dude, yes. Dan, I'm going to have to send you some clips after you, you left. You've talked after about him a couple of times on the podcast, yes. He's like, uh, yeah, because he's like, you know, he's kind of carrying the torch. He's kind of like Patrice being... on like Valium. Like, you know, he's not he's like, like with the, with the he's relationship like, oh, these bitches advice. don't know what they really want in life. They like, fucking crazy acting for this, that, and the third. Like, dude, the, he said, he said big. some of the most genius shit. Ever, like, so like, I, I would like Patrice's, you know, rating a girl on a scale one to 30 thing, but he has a, this thing he does where he goes, uh, he go, uh, he goes, uh, rate yourself on a scale one to 10. You can't use seven. And then you okay. watch women have to fucking draw the line in the sand and decide, am I a six? Or am I an eight? Because most most women, you you drop that. They try to like, you know, they go like, oh, I'm probably like a seven or so, just to be like humble kind of thing. And it's like, mm, yeah, seven's like, mm, that's you got to pick a fucking lane, bitch. Are you average or are you hot? Is that the same guy? Like his joke of that is like, oh, you're an eight, you're a nine, so you think you're better than Beyonce? <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. All right, then guy. I do know yes, who that, that guy dude. is. The one who I, told the guy. Once you said this, I'm like, oh shit, that's he's, like one of the best jokes he says, ever. He says to the lady later at one point, he's like, oh, he's like, don't make me say it, and she's like, what? And he's like, ma'am, that you're average at best. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it is a great fucking he's joke. Oh, fucking my God. awesome. I love Kevin Samuels. And, uh, dude, so I, it was funny enough, it was on one of his posts. He had this post, uh, this one right here, and it just simply says, What are a woman's prime years? Okay. And, and, and in the comment section, it's pretty unanimous with what I said. Most, most comments are, are like 18 to 26, is like, that's a woman's like prime years. You know what I mean? Like peak, like after that, you think of it almost like, Thing. like nba you know what i mean like you hitting your peak and then after that like so they were also that but the kicker that got me like a fuck ton of likes on my comment was i said 18 to 26 but 30 is retirement and when i say that like the fucking comment section was just fucking resounding black dudes laughing their fucking tits off like hardcore <laughs> just being like yo like just fucking like <laughs> I mean, they were fucking weak. They were laughing their tits hey, off. Hey, yo, fucking... that's crazy. I got, I got a bunch of like these emojis. They were like the hands <laughs> yeah, clapping the hand. shit. <laughs> the, hand, the hands clapping is so basic. So, hey, yo, the first, the yo, first, my man's no, yo, my man, hey, yo, my man. man, right thing to yo. say. Not then, ah, not then, not then. This white hunky bugging. Not then, not then. You white hunky bugging. You white hunky bugging. Then chill out, chill out. You gonna get, you gonna get canceled. So. Like, yeah, Lonnie Lane did. Well, Puerto Rico, we could do that shit. But bunch of comments down. The first detractor finally comments, and you guessed it, it's a woman. And I can't read the comment exactly, and I'll tell you because it got deleted, and I'll Does tell you why you? in a second. Oh. Well, so it was basically like um, dot dot dot, uh -huh. is, and she was like, "You look like." Uh, it, she basically said like, "I I I can't be picky because I look like Charles Manson." Now. Here's why that's immediately funny to me, which I didn't even realize until retrospect. I started laughing today. I'm like, yeah, and Charles Manson got, was surrounded by and had who do his dirty work? A bunch of hot bitches. Like, he was just having fucking... So I'm like, that was a terrible... Uh, the, like, off the rip, this woman's fucking stupid. But I didn't even call her on that aspect of it. She, I mean, the, the hilarity when women say shit like, you know, like, oh, you well, you look like this, so you can't be picky. And it's like, they don't really seem to get that it's like, it doesn't matter what we look like. Oh, did we lose Renee? It's the swag. We it's lost Renee. Swag. It was like the weirdest fucking All right, thing I gotta, ever. I got to piss. Oh, uh, gotcha. Oh, okay. Well, you guys never been there before? <laughs> Mid podcast? You got to take a piss? So, so it's like, it, well, it, it, it's so fucking goofy because it's like, women need to understand. You motherfuckers like us for different shit. Like, you don't like us for our looks. Some some of you do. And, and by the way, those relationships never usually never pan out well because you're just going in for like oh he's hot and then you wonder why he treats you like a dirtbag uh -huh. um but we we just care about you being hot you like us because like we're charming or we make you laugh or like like it means nothing to me if you know fucking every character from my favorite video game if you know every quarterback ever does not make you sexier to me your job whether you work at mcdonald's or you're a fucking nurse not to Dan. Not, Dan loves that shit. It, it, <laughs> yeah, Dan Dan likes that shit because he gets those hash browns. 
But outside of that, he's like, you, you, you don't impress me anything beyond like uh, you could be a nurse, a lawyer. This means nothing. All I care you have about a group tattoo on your back. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Are, are let you me, hot? Let me come on it. Are you hot? You do, got a do... fucked up Godsmack and... tattoo and it looks like a target right above your ass, like a tramp stamp that you got when you were 18 and it got infected and shit. Let me dot that eye. I was a quick piss. Well, that get oh, legit uh, part of. So I did date. So exact all that. That was all right. the truth. It's 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 think? fucking. It's crazy. It's like ladies. It means nothing. Like we could be like you. You like us because we're charming and we're funny and all this shit. You just got to be hot. That's all that matters to me, motherfucker. Just be be hot and other that other men find you hot and fuckable. Because this is a misconception that women also make is they think that. The, the validation they get from their girlfriends means shit. Your girlfriends could all be like, yes, bitch, slay, you look great. But you could walk in the bar and I think, me and all my boys think you look like a goofy bitch. No one's gonna fucking take you home or buy you a drink. That's just bottom yes, line. bitch, slay. Oh, it depends on how late it is in the night and how many times yeah. you struck out. It's it's literally like women how like how you look is deter like whether you look good or not is determined by whether men find you fuckable and then our fuckability has nothing to do with how we look. There's homeless guys that get pussy, okay? Like make no mistake. Dan, I'm gonna hang Colin on. Jo to Colin Jost is fucking Scarlett Johansson. You know what I'm saying? Like the and we're gonna go. Colin Jost is handsome. No, yeah, no also, fucking bullshit to him. I literally yeah, feel no way about him once or the other. But he's like, classically handsome. He looks like the Chad. He looks like the fucking finance bro. I guess, but he's not like some fucking like. But he also went honest. to Harvard. He yeah. looks like someone who went to Harvard. But the, he really but, does. But there's there's like there's plenty of fucking you know, like it's just it's not important for us. So like the the when, you know, when women want to you know, bring like a dude's looks into it, it's like you already know that you're fucking starting to step on their throat of like the argument. You know who nothing. Colin just looks like? He looks like the fucking white boy from the movie How High. <laughs> fucking brat uh, Bart Bart. Fuck up Bart. Is that, the, is that the one with the herpes that they keep trying to not pass the joint to? No, that's the, Indian no, no, no. dude. That's oh no, that's the, fucking, the Indian dude. That's right. That's right. No, no, no. That's I'm talking about the fucking the the, the guy who rode crew. Oh <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the one that's like, like a dickhead. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes, I think yes. and, he's, and he's like fucking Lark Voorhees, right? Or, uh, is that who fuck. it was? I think so. Yeah, I think yeah, it yeah. was the chick from Saved by the Bell who was the the girl in the movie. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah I think yeah. you're right. I think that's that's who that is. So that chick says that right. And and this is funny too. It's like you would think if you make a comment like you know you can't be picky, blah blah blah, this kind of thing, you would, I don't know, take a look at what my bitch looks like. So I just simply said, I'll give you a chance to take a look at my girl and revise your comment. And sure enough, about ten minutes later, her comment got deleted. <laughs> <laughs> and I, wow, you really you really went there. So then he's, I said, checkmate, laugh, laugh, yo. and a bunch of laugh emojis. And then this other chick chimes in. Oh, he's fucking white. Of course he went there. Yeah, dude. I don't give a fuck. Petty as fuck. You don't use I your privilege, you lose your privilege. By the way, I got, I got, uh, I like, I can't, I can't swear or anything on Instagram anymore. I got like the, hey, like if you get one more like kind of a count strike thing, like we're probably going to delete your Instagram. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just for saying like anything about women or bit and not even so, bad. So, like I've said, I've literally gotten like the, enough anyway. I've gotten the ban for like literally just being like white women are the devil, and that's enough to get you like fucking censored and like you should take it down. Uh, stupid. Dude, I'm banned from any monetization ever off Instagram. <laughs> I don't know why. Because you're a cisgendered white male, you piece of shit. So this other Boy, woman yeah. comments right after after I'm done fucking knocking this first one dead, and she goes, "Uh, why did he have to drag his girlfriend into this? Now he got his girlfriend in the firing line too." And I was like, she can take uh -oh. it. She isn't fragile like most uh -oh. of your kind, boo. <laughs> and she said, is this an attempt to insult me and my race? Because she took your kind. It's like, obviously, I'm talking about women, dummy. Uh, uh, I feel bad for your girlfriend. I really do. Bless her. Please protect her rather than drag her. This is also, I should note, if you go to her profile, Christ fag. So there's going to be a ton of God shit. Um, please protect her rather than drag her into firing lines. Where It's like a comment section, by the way, not firing lines. Firing lines where people are able to insult her because of your own dumb comments. I mean, that respectfully, she didn't deserve that at all. And I just go, someone's single, LOL. And then she said, 
At this point, I'm like, dude, I'm not like all that word vomit. I'm not gonna you, fucking you and, and it's a Christ fag because I and I know I know at this point that when it's a Christian, the the fucking like Jesus loves you comments are coming, which is like the the expiration of me giving a fuck anymore. And she goes, "You definitely need Jesus, brother." And I go, "God is dead. He was weak, so I killed him." Oh. She said. <laughs> the, uh, Oh my and then God. she said, people will sell their souls to get in the last word. May God forgive you. And I said, ask God why you don't have a man. She said, Jesus loves you again. And I said, and loneliness loves you. And it was at this point that I got a text from my girlfriend because this bitch then screenshotted the conversation uh, in this comment section, DM'd uh -huh. my girlfriend, thinking that like, my, like as if like my girlfriend was going to come kick the door down and be like are you getting in battles blah 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 and it just it's the screenshot and says your boyfriend says some really dumb stuff i hope he treats you well and this isn't reflective of his actual personality it is i'm an asshole um, I'm getting phone calls again. of his actual personality right. i really do hope he's just being a keyboard warrior because this is not a nice person at all so you're not because i pointed out that women's value to a man, not fuck whatever they think. Who gives a shit right now? You're asking, what is a woman's prime years? You don't decide that, women. We do. I'm telling you, 18 to 26, 30 is retirement. So because I said that, and then you and this other woman wanted to insult my bitch, I'm a bad person. I just want to be clear about that. I just want to be clear about that's a woman's logic. So really, you didn't like what I said, so I'm a bad person. Dumb cunt. Now... <laughs> She clearly said that in a hope to get me in trouble, right? Let me read you what my girl said to this bitch. Please wrap this up. <clears throat> well, stranger of the internet, I don't know any women that fight with random men on the internet who aren't miserable and lonely, to be honest. It's an Instagram. Get a hobby and stop being offended by what other people think, particularly men and what they think about you. This is a prime example of what's wrong with you and your supposed feminist agenda. You think you're entitled to talk to people how you want. You don't have to respond to everybody. Some people are just miserable or like to stir the pot for fun. And that's their prerogative because this is a free fucking country. See, I didn't need to respond to you or this message at all. But nobody in your life has ever told you that you were wrong. What was your intention with messaging me today? Do you think that some random human with the, from the Internet is going to make me think differently about my boyfriend? Shows how highly you think of other women and how narrow, how narrow minded your viewpoint is. Maybe check yourself before you hide behind a screen and message random people on the Internet about their lives that you know nothing about. And count your blessings that I decided to bless you with a lesson instead of ignoring your ass like every other person in your life must do to you. Oh, <laughs> I've created a monster. Um, uh, Joey. Fucking bonfire. Joey. God damn it. You didn't put a ring on yeah, you didn't put a ring on that thing yet. <laughs> let me let me tell you. Dumb, you it's dumb fucking cunt. she's making a fucking strong case. Making a very strong case for that, dude. Jesus My God, Christ. what a fucking soldier. God dude, damn. I, I, I General of the it's, army. It's, we're like we're well deep into fall right my bitch now. is a purple like, belt like, now like, like we've got like hold on we've got like 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 high 30s temperature going on here at night i kind of want to put the fucking the, the air conditioner on because that that burn fucking travel mm -hmm. through the Dude. fucking through the zoom right this is crazy fuck what a fucking so, and as you can imagine by the way background fucking put that baddie bitch in place as you can imagine by the way no response on the comment section or in that. <laughs> from that bitch. Thank you for playing, bitches. God, women are so fucking goofy. So fucking goofy. Jesus. I had this. I had this. Um, I like. It, it's just like I just. You just think about all the times that women have been like, you know, just any kind of fucking goofy shit, not like that, or like you know, they're like, you got to do this. You got to. I mean, this. like, yeah, you you got to deal with like crazy bitches, like fucking Kim Congdon, fucking <laughs> being a fucking psycho. You know, just like just. You know, but like jesus then you come across bitches like that yeah then you come across and then the, the, the kind of of the internet and you're like what the uh, fuck am uh, i dealing with god damn they keep floating around jesus christ doing yourself more work you know what let's Always. let's fucking remember that you guys get way more views than us because i i like want to throw all this shit out but do i we? know for sure it'll come back and get me in trouble do we though do we can i more okay views? here's the thing dan yes do we Yes. Are are these oh, your oh, these are your personal feelings? These are, this I don't look. I don't care. You guys can say whatever the fuck you want as long as it's not something that I've 
I have not told you in confidence. To culture. I don't want. <laughs> I need the money I make at work. Oh, okay, fair I, I enough. Fair enough. Get in trouble. Anyway. Fair enough. Fair but, enough. Oh man, I got one. I'll tell you offline because it's fucking great. But I just uh, merely meant if there if there was someone that like you know in the past that maybe we bleeped their name for some other reason, but it's like. Hey, I only bleeped it because I'm assuming that there was information I probably told you guys about it, but maybe not. And if it's just your oh, fucking no. opinion, if it's just All your right. opinion and you're like, yeah, oh, this person could suck my dick. I don't give a hey, fuck. This I don't is my opinion. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to have to bleep this out really quick. Wait, let me. Okay. <laughs> Fuck the timestamp, this motherfucker. <laughs> I know we had to deal with all these other females and all the feminist bullshit, but then now we got Caitlyn Jenner, Jen Jenner giving us what what fucking should be <laughs> the the biggest loudest tranny ever. Who goes? Ah, uh, I don't believe in gay marriage. I really believe marriage should be between a man and a woman, and that's a fucking it now. That's what I was gonna say. Thank Wait, that's that's Walmart. what I gotta bleep out. We've yes, we said... oh, because it, no, because it's like again, Chappelle barely got away. Or barely got away with saying shit about trannies, and he's famous and rich. I'm poor and not famous, but I can't have. The they only have the power that you give them. Out. They only have the power you give them. Yeah, yeah. I, the power they give them that my employer would also give go, oh shit, controversy. We and, don't and, want and that. And this right is now this is the takeaway. COVID. This is the takeaway from the Chappelle thing. Cause I you know, I was gonna go fucking on a, a raged fucking rant. I know we're gonna this. go into that in a minute, but like, yeah, no, it's, please please delete that out. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 look, the end of his special, which clearly none of these fucking people calling him transphobic watched, uh, and I saw the special and I saw it live. Okay, this is the thing. The whole point of it is leading up to the point of his whole frustration with that community is uh, too long didn't read. They fucking bullied his trans friend to the point where they fucking killed themselves just for defending Dave. And it's like, you know, you can't be a fun, a, a bunch of fucking little cunts and do that shit and then try and be like, well, Dave Chappelle's rhetoric is going to get trans people killed. You're already killing your own community, you fucking pieces of shit. So don't be trying to fucking don't be trying to fucking throw the blame community. at a person just saying words they, like you're like Dave's over here just fucking, you know, doing some teehees and you guys literally a person who was just like, hey, you know, I don't care about the pro his friend was it, it, to again. I'm just paraphrasing, but was his friend Daphne, the one in the story was basically like, yeah, I don't need you to say my pronouns or fucking do, know this or know that just fucking he says something to the effect of like just treat me like a human being that's going through it right and it's like yeah i can recognize that because i'm a human being and i'm going through it and you yeah, know what else? real recognize real is what he says in it. and dude it that's like like out of all the shit like all the things that anybody ever said like as long as this story is true and it may he makes you feel like it is I think it's true. He has no reason to lie. Why would they make right. that up? It's fucking amazing. And yeah. he's like, I don't know Dave Chappelle personally, but it really makes me feel like he is. Wait, like, Dan, are you sure? Really good guy. Are you sure you don't know him personally? Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. No, I uh, do. Like, that I feels feel like, like exactly like, someone that would know Dave dude, Chappelle. Dude, he lives say. one I state below me. You know of Dave course Chappelle. I know that motherfucker. <laughs> are you serious? Come on. We, we oh both live out in butt fuck Egypt. It's, 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 it's so fucking stupid and, and like this is the thing right it's like at the end of the day it's pretty much the fucking core sentiment of of why i started this podcast it's like it's it's even in the lyrics of the fucking stupid intro and shit it's like we don't care about your gender we don't give a f when i go up and when i meet a new person gender don't really give a fuck i mean if you're a woman you know automatically i'm gonna know that i'm above you but you know gender don't give a fuck uh <laughs> your race means nothing to me uh who you're fucking don't care what you identify don't give a shit. None of that. You, you could fucking any combination, spin the fucking wheel and let it land on every co every thousands of combinations. I don't give a fuck if you identify oh. as a tree. I will treat you like another human being as long as you treat me like another human being. But if you're a fucking cunt, then I promise you, you're not more of a cunt than I am. And then I'll pull that out. And then, yeah, you'll think I'm a piece of shit because when you act like a cunt to me, I'm going to act like a cunt to you. I've always just fucking golden rule, dude. You treat me nice, I'll treat you nice. I like people that like me. You're not nice to me, I'm not going to be fucking nice to you. And I promise you, my not nice to you going to be a lot fucking worse than what you can ever do. Because I don't leave any fucking openings, dog. I don't got skeletons in the closet. I don't got some dark secret you're going to find. It's all out there. I've taken my dick out on the internet. I don't give a fuck. There's nothing. 
I put it all out there so that I could be like this dog. I don't let leave room for people would love Joey, for me to be Joey. seen as a fucking phony. Joey. And that's why I make sure that that can't fucking happen because I Joey, and this say, is why mm, tight butthole motherfucker. Joey, this is why we love having you on Perfectly Misfit, man. That's why I love coming really on here. Great dude, having you fucking... on this episode. This episode has been <laughs> so fucking great. Uh, you want to wrap up and talk about maybe being a little gross or something? Yeah, we could we could get into some of that shit. The last thing I was just going to say about a dude is just, you know what? You know what? If you're trans and you can't take a joke, okay? If you're trans and you you have a problem with with humor, okay? Look, I, I, fucking I I've been to a fucking the comedy store with my dad who's a fucking Trump supporter. And guess what? There were comics that made Trump jokes and I could see he wasn't fucking happy, but did he storm out? Did he make a scene? No, he fucking sat there quietly until it got to the shit that made him laugh. That's what a fucking hey. adult does. Don't be a fucking pussy. If you can't laugh, if you can't take a joke, that's part of the human experience. Humor, laughter, joy, those feelings, that's part of being a human. So if you don't feel those, maybe you're not a human. Did he actually visibly get upset? At, uh, he, 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 you could see the kind of like the look of like, like, like in his head, he was like, you know, oh. man, man, like it. it it was funny material that I could tell he wasn't getting over because it was fucking, you know, about Trump. But it, but conversely, it's like, you know, but hey, great. Sit there silently. And that's what he did. And then when when the guy was on different material that he did like, started laughing again. He didn't then fucking sit there like a fucking miserly cunt and be like, well, he said shit about Trump. So the rest of his shit isn't going to be funny. No, don't be a fucking cunt. Don't be a fucking cunt, people. It's that simple. Don't be like, a cunt. Once, if I was a president, got, that'd be my my fucking slogan and platform. Once no a comedian more fucking started Don't talking about grab, once a comedian well, started talking about grabbing pussies. Now that's what I like. Yeah, that's that, oh, you know, it's like now Renee and I are, are you know part of the disgruntled veterans, broken down veteran group, and I still think there's there's a comic I can't remember his name. I'll find it and send you the clip. But uh, he makes a. Uh, the 22 22 day or 22 a day veterans kill themselves joke mm -hmm. and it is dark as fuck and it is hilarious yeah but like i'm part that's of that crazy. community you know like but i get it it's fucking hilarious I, you yeah. can take that joke my best friend died in a car accident a i don't fucking act like a little pussy anytime someone tells a car accident joke or fucking like, just fucking mm -hmm. get over it who gives a fuck right. their words their fucking words yeah. I don't give a fuck about words. I don't let any, nobody has fucking power over me with words, with words, suck my dick, suck my dick. Good time for some good cunt, bad cunt. Oh shit. All right. Our first one, gentlemen, we're fucking rocking. This this. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's, let's fucking, we need a palette. We need a palette reset because I've been fucking kind of like real angry on this podcast and stuff. Let's fucking, oh, we don't want to go into good cunt, bad cunt. We got to be fucking pure judges here. Okay. We need to fucking, pal so let's just, let's have a quick little fucking silly clip. This quick little silly clip. Hey, before you play it, can yeah. I say one thing? Of course. Uh -oh. oh, congratulations. Thank you. For your, your Boston team. Thanks. And how well they did in this baseball season. <laughs> and how how much of a heartbreaker it was that they're fucking not anywhere. Wow, <laughs> Dan, Dan just virtually stabbed two Puerto Ricans at once. <laughs> Got, got him by exactly way of what? he got he got <laughs> Renee by way of getting O by way of himself. I mean, can I talk baseball real quick for a second? You Dan? know what? Absolutely, I'll allow you to rebuttal, my good sir. I'm sorry. Yeah, real real quick. The Red Sox weren't picked to do shit this year. That's one uh -huh. by anybody, by anyone, uh -huh. by even our own, by no one, by anyone, by even our own writers. Um, two, we beat the Yankees. Okay, yeah, I give you that. Fuck the Yankees. We beat the Rays. Fuck the Rays. So we got the ALEs back. We're pretty much ALEs champions, and we and we couldn't get it done when it counted. But it's all good. We'll be back next year. Renee's trying to like. What about them Braves? Surmise what words could probably. Who, sum who up the Braves? How fucking dumb. Who the was. Braves to us? The Braves are nothing to us. We don't care about the Braves. The Braves is the Dodgers' problem, not my problem. <laughs> It's all right, dude. I, you know what? I'm a I'm a fucking Tigers fan, so my this whole season sucked dick for me. It just it was so much fun that two of my friends also got, got stabbed in the heart by their own teams, and uh, it's not my just my fault. Keep, you know? That's that's it's my point. Me. My team didn't stab me in the heart. They didn't stab me in the heart. We actually did pretty yeah, good. Oh, never had faith in them to begin with this season. We didn't have oh, faith okay. in them to begin with the season. It's okay.
Well, that, that's I got than anybody I, thought. That's fine. Cool. Yeah, it's not like my Brad... Knicks who are fucking crushing it, dude. No, actually, the Knicks got beat by the worst injuries. team in the NBA. Yeah, I know. I know it's coming. By the magic. I know my heartbreak is coming. Someone's fucking gonna get injured. Randall's gonna break a leg again or some bullshit. Knock on wood. It's gonna let a, It's the Knicks, dude. Like you're since... gonna get. Uh, are you gonna let a five eleven guard? Uh, you'll let him get thirteen rebounds on you in a game. Shut you up. haven't been good since the Ewing era. That's not true. We were good in twenty thirteen. Shut up. You let. You let Greg Anthony's son get thirteen rebounds on you. Shut up, bro. Don't speak to me. All right, good cut, bad cut. And he's your after and he's we, your after height. This, you know what? We need to. I like I said, we need to re- fucking let me cleanse the palate here. It's fucking getting too hateful. Out. <laughs> Fuck. This just made me giggle idiot. earlier. Joey's an idiot. Hey, Alexa, I want you to fucking fart for me. I think you just whispered to me. From now on, when you whisper, I will whisper back. Oh, you're you can a dirty always, bitch. Turn oh off my God. Me. Oh, my God. Alexa. I'd rather not. Fart for me. Okay. Here's Big Fart. Oh, shit. Oh. That was a deep one. Oh, yeah. Shall I play another fart sound? Yeah, give me another one. Come on. Oh. oh. That was... <laughs> <laughs> I love that so fucking oh, shit. <laughs> oh, we are so cross posting this fucking podcast and putting it as ours next time. Uh, next it's week. a fucking swap cast, guys. Fucking shit. I don't give a fuck. Shit. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. All right. Wow. Well, yeah, hey. Yeah. <laughs> that last part was so fucking aggressive. <laughs> Are we like... sure that wasn't Dan talking to the... <laughs> oh, it was, dude. <laughs> dude, dude, the fucking... The, 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 just the fucking relation of being like, yeah, I've got one more for you. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking juicy. He was like, even he was taken aback. He, took, he was I, taken I, I, out I of character. He was like, oh, God. I don't want to <laughs> get into how I know, but that that second one was definitely Brazilian. <laughs> a Brazilian fart fetish porn? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. She That's fucking culturally bitch. appropriate of you. All right, guys, let's fucking get into it, actually. It's a nice palate cleanser. There was some joy. We're back to neutral. Good cunt, fucking bad cunt. In the world where there are cunts of all types, good cunt, bad cunt. Uh, First up, guys, what the fuck has happened to this bitch? Oh, boy. Good gun, bad gun. <coughs> oh, to be clear, Lovato. do we think her cunt is still good? They, them. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Demi that Lovato. Demi Lovato now. Who now uh, identifies as they, them, right? I believe she that is gained, correct. like 50 fucking and, pounds at least. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, like, I'm, not, I'm not like fat. It, there's, a, there's, a, there's a joke. There's a joke circulating um, that was like, oh, uh, Demi Lovato now identifies as they them. Uh, somebody should go ahead and tell they them that they're still fat. So Bro, just for I legit didn't know if that was Demi Lovato or Nia Jax. Yeah. Nah. I mean, what yeah. a dramatic change. Nah. Nah, nah. Go back. Yeah. Oh. Nah. <laughs> fucking google Nia it's, it's, it's like you going for the it's you going for the eye exam right they're like okay and which one is better uh number one <laughs> no, no, no go back to number one number one or number two yeah or number two one number one yeah number two fucking Nia Jax look up Nia Jax that's no, I'm good like. don't I do that don't do that I swear to god don't do that it was like okay number camera. one wait, wait no, number one number two which one's better <laughs> number one okay number one or number three <laughs> 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 fucking stupid okay wait you said nia Jax. yeah no here, don't do it one don't second do I'll, i'm gonna send don't you do it. don't do this don't do this don't do this no 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 Oh, oh, can, can you sit up somewhere not just looking at your balls? You fucking look. I know what Nia Jax pod, looks like. By the way, I want to oh, point shit. out, a, a podcasting... Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it. That's rude. Like. That's rude. Time is done. 
That's fucking rude. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just don't want to look at this fat. I mean, this bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's right there, dude. It's, it's like, like it is. <laughs> number three. The four, or, number. number one or number four? <laughs> number one. The problem Hell is yeah. they're probably <laughs> about as famous as both of them are. Like, they're fucking. Nah. They're the nah, same look thickness. Shut, shut the, the fuck damn up, near, dude. dude. Uh, that last photo. <laughs> That's wait, 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 like. wait, 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 wait. I think I heard you. Oh, hang on. <laughs> she looks like Kenny Powers in that t shirt with the, with, with the shades on. Which yeah, one? Right this? there, that one. No, no, that no, one with the shades on. Top left, top left. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> that one? <laughs> Anyone. The one right there with the middle, too. <laughs> oh, shit. oh Jesus! You know, I swear to God, I hope that. Oh, I still both of these, powers. both of these people. I love that show. He's bonded down. That's my shit. Like Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> Holy shit! What happened, man? That's terrible. Bad con. Bad con. I'm sorry. Live your expression, but live your truth and expression, but that sucks. I forgot what was the question here. <laughs> good, good That's what happens con. when you try you to be a hey, Pokemon. It doesn't matter what her mullet looks like. We're asking good cunt, bad cunt. Is her cunt good or not? Oh, this no, time I mean not. literally her cunt, not her not her morality. Guys. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Damn, what the hell happened? Oh, I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna fucking stab you for the amount of edits I'm gonna make for this podcast. <laughs> there it is. Put your goddamn phone on do not disturb. You fuck. It's not on Do Not Disturb. I'm trying to get back to like the I, all I know four. it's not on Do Not Disturb. I'm <laughs> telling you to put Do Not Disturb on, you fuck. No, it wasn't that I was getting a phone call. I was trying to get back to the phone. I'm going to fucking send you see, a this is, this is, after See, this. oh, this is this silly thing, right, that I'm going to tell you about is like the Do Not Disturb. If you put that on, then texts and phone calls won't come through. My dog's on Do Not Disturb. <laughs> How do you have an expensive ass dog and not a good fucking computer? Well, like my dog was expensive. Nightmare. The dog because he spent it all in the dog. All right, guys. He's Puerto Rican, he stole it, dude. <laughs> Fair enough. I stole I it stabbed his owner. That's the wrong Latino. I stole it, Holmes. <laughs> all right, good gun, bad gun. Missouri woman sues Geico. This is a complex one, guys. Sues Geico for one million dollars after contracting STD during sex and car insured bad by gun. company. Back up next. Right, I mean, bad cut. She basically had fucked in this car and got an STD, and it, because the car was insured by Geico, she thinks that she can sue them. Yo, so uh, my my, my favorite part system. of this story because I heard it on a on a on a, on a, on a much funnier, well known pod, more well known yes, podcast. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and um, probably because I can't even burn my own podcast without stuttering like a faggot. So my favorite part is the fact that she had to have what like realize she got the std realize who she got it from and then fucking call the dude afterwards and be like what was your fucking car insurance company well because this let's see she had unprotected sex in 2014 oh in a 2014 nice. hyundai genesis in late 2017 and then in 2018 she was diagnosed with hpv which she claimed she contracted during the car rendezvous bitch you probably had that fucking <laughs> The, the, butt the, sex. The, the, yeah, the pussy. Yeah, the butt sex. The stupidity had pus- of it all. It's she's had pussy cut. AIDS for years, and she wants to blame it on some guy she fucked in a car. It's like, hey, ma'am, maybe you got it because you're fucking motherfuckers in a car. Good I mean, cut. like, I, nah, hey, hold on. hey, 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 hold the hold only on a second. Hey, out, no, now I lost little, my virginity in a car. car. A little car sex. No, no, fair enough. But like, it's fun when you're in high school. The, the last I, like I lost my Virginia car and the last person I talked to that fucked in a car was my buddy Dirty Mike back in high school. And it's the night that he got his nickname. Dirty well, Mike. You That's the the guy named Dirty you Mike. In the car? Well, he got his he wasn't Dirty Mike until that night. And then he he oh. fucking went. He went and picked a chick up who was like, you know, hit her with the classic. Oh, fucking, like, yeah, hey, I take... swear to God, you said you fucked Dirty Mike in a car. Like, yeah, I dude, like, I fucked whoa. Dirty Mike. Dude, you don't bugger your friends, <laughs> homo. Dirty um, Mike and the boys. Mike and no, no, he was just yeah. regular. He was just regular old Mike. And then some girl was like, hey, I need a ride. And he hit her with the classic, you know, fucking gas, ass or cash and shit. And she was like, ass. So he showed up and she blew him. And he's the only guy I've ever known who got a uh, UTI from a blowjob. Oh, God. What? She spit it back down the hole? I what? think she was at her boyfriend's and probably fucking him and then just blew Mike for a ride home. And then, but, but it's, it's the only person I've ever known to get a UTI from a fucking blowjob. So, like, he's she dirty got Mike. got in her mouth first. Yeah, dude. Yeah. He's dirty Mike, bro. Fucking. So this, yeah. Ew. 
Now that's kind of I might grows, but you know what? Fucking we're that's here. That's relevant. Fucking car sex. If you get car sex, you're fucking, and you get an STD. You're a dumb cunt. Fuck you, bad cunt. <laughs> What's next? Oh, this one's fucking great, dude. This one's. Oh, I've seen this. Dan, you, did you you ever you ever gone fishing with uh, a gun? I've fucking no. seen this. I already know what's gonna happen. It hasn't. It already have you seen though. this though? I, no. I have. It, yeah, I, dude. It, this now, is like a pretty me viral video on TikTok. Me personally, I'd shoot the fish. I know that's a little hard I with the fucking diffraction in the light. Like you would, like when you mm. look I go to at the, other the screen? description right there, mean? how to catch a fish okay, with I a gun. I see. I see. It. You would think. Yeah. Just play the video first. Fucking Christ. Oh. Fucking. He shot his dick off. So crazy like, concept that if you hit the fucking uh, a fucking loaded gun that it, it you know it could go off and it did and it shot him right in the fucking leg like a dummy. Why nah, would you dude, shoot he the shot fish? his dick off like Cheddar Bob in Eight Mile? <laughs> Wait, so <laughs> he was shooting at a fish. So look at he's no, holding he was, no. no 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 oh he's holding the barrel of a gun and then with the butt of the gun he's trying to hit the fish like he's fucking hammer it like an axe. The butt of the gun. So like he's got the gun backwards. This is the barrel right here, and that's he was the butt. better off shooting at the. He, he, he's holding right the barrel, at it. dude. And like, look, when he hits it, he it's literally himself. pointing at his dick. It's and, and the he's, leg. He's, so it definitely, it's the yeah, leg, he's, he's definitely bur muzzle burning his fucking hands, and then fucking, it's yeah. it's definitely getting his arm. It's probably grazing his arms, and it's either going through fucking inner thigh meat or dick. It's inner thigh meat or dick for sure. But he's I mean, bad cunt, way. He, bad cunt. Yeah. You're a dummy. Fishing pole net. Yeah. Turn the gun around and shoot it. There's Obviously, so many options. Fucking hit it with a shoe before you fucking try to hit it with a, a loaded gun. At least unload the gun, fucking dummy. God damn it. Where's ISIS when you need him? Oh, God. Please. He was better off. Obviously not, at the, obviously not at the Netflix building. I don't know. I've seen some ISIS videos where they blow themselves up. I guarantee he was part of ISIS. By the way, last thing I'll say about the Chappelle thing is like I started following the guy on Twitter that was there that had the sign. And it, dude, the Variety magazine, all these people started being like, oh, these detractors showed up and were swearing and getting violent. You watch the video, the guy's holding a sign that says, I like jokes. It literally says, I like jokes. They destroy <laughs> They destroy a sign. Once they get the sign part it off. It says, this, I like jokes on one side. The other side is, I like Dave. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They I once they get on once they rip the sign off, which is a destruction of property, and he's just holding the stick part. Then they start screaming, "He's got a weapon! He's got a weapon!" It's like, um, well, I guess by definition, he's got a weapon because he could use it as a weapon. But it would have still been a weapon. Down. It's yeah, he threw it down just because he was like, "Okay, we're gonna play that game." Like it, fine. Yeah, it's a weapon. I threw it down there, dummy. And 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 it's and then one woman's just like standing in his face like this. Another one's smacking a thing in his face. And like, this is where I have to applaud this guy. He literally doesn't lose his cool, doesn't swear. He's like pretty much just like, I just want to say I like jokes. I like Dave. He's made me laugh. I don't really understand why everyone here is so upset. Like I pretty much just like, I don't think you guys really watched the special, honestly, because if you did, like you wouldn't be reacting this way. And they're just screaming and blah, blah, blah. And I've got to be honest, dude, uh, I can't remember his fucking name, but he's on Twitter. He's got his videos and stuff. I like I hope he fucking can counter sue them or some kind of bullshit because they're just like the whole time. I'm like, I couldn't have been this good of a person. I mean, the moment someone gets in my fucking face, I'm going to headbutt them or bite their nose off. Like, I just Start I don't give a fuck. You and... get in my face. It's on, dude. So yeah. like kudos to this motherfucker. Like, seriously, I was watching this. I'm like, I, I, dude, I had this fucked up thought where I'm like, when did this happen? Uh, a couple days the, ago, the protests for uh, the 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 at outside net, the walkout the headquarters in Netflix. Where they had the Netflix walkout for like. The oh, employees. I didn't hear about that. And there was uh, that one being uh, the lesbian. Oh, really? With the cowbell yeah. in his face. It, it was like That's the uh, was. yeah, they had like a planned staged walkout at Netflix to like protest the Dave Chappelle bullshit, and it's just really? and, then a, and then a bunch of people showed up who were also like supporters of Dave Chappelle, just being like, yeah, we like comedy, like stop being assholes. And it, it was all planned out on Reddit. It got mm -hmm. leaked. And then, yeah. Like, and, it, and news articles just blatantly lied about what happened. Like, they were literally. So, wait. Absolutely. What, wouldn't it be just great if they just fired all those fucking cunts yeah. who walked out? Because, yeah. like, do you know how many fucking people, like, would love to fucking work for Netflix and, no and are probably qualified and would never fucking give a shit about this dumb shit? Damn. Blatantly lying about it. It's just as bad as the fucking Let's Go Brandon shit. Yup. Yup.
it's fine dude it's it's just like it's sickening when you can literally watch the video and then you watch like a, a variety magazine post arcs and be like they were swearing and got violent and you're like not only did he not say a single swear word he didn't even really raise his voice much like in a, in a threatening way and he also like was the one that was attacked and like there were people on the, that the dave Ch Chappelle side that were getting like literally attacked and it's like right i mean if we're just gonna lie it's like wow. you wonder like it's so annoying because it's like that's fake news it's not the fake news that trump was trying to say but it's like there is fake news so then you give credence to the idea of fake news and it's like can we just stop being fucking cunts like we really need like a fucking just drop the bombs already my god fuck everyone hey guys let's let's fucking do some am i gross and wrap it up how about it mom do you ever feel not so fresh down there no there must be something wrong with you really yeah i've never had that problem and i don't know any woman who has Bite off his penis. Boys, do you got any new fucking gross things you've been doing? Uh, I'll go first. Uh, I've been checking the ball funk before I let the girl smell, uh, take a little suckle on it. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Do you do... Uh, so what? what is You gotta your, wipe underneath. You, go, you do like a, 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 a back to front like ass to uh, ask to dick no no at, no all of it ass just in the gooch and you bring it up through the ball sack up because two fingers I like my uh, two to three depending on, yeah. on the day like if it was a hot day which right now it's not but you know it, it's been quite it's been quite hot in michigan lately and uh yeah yeah take that three finger drag and all right yep yep mm. no well i'm gonna go take a shower first or Nah, fuck that. That she's been kind of a bitch today. She's gonna get all the flavors. I like that, dude. That's a good one. I actually don't think anyone's talked about the ball check. Surprisingly, and it's funny because it, it seems like an, a really obvious one, and I'm pretty sure no one's ever brought that up. That's pretty standard. That's why I feel like that's probably never been brought up because it's not that gross. It's it should be a, it's common courtesy. I feel. Yeah. That's fucking nice, dude. I like that. I like that a lot i'm dude i'm fucking i i'm really spacing i know there was something fucking gross that i was like quasi excited to be like oh yeah i've got a fucking new one so, so i've got i guess a newer one just because like it's been a while since i've been in the service industry and i'm not proud of this but i've only done it like twice since i got back into bartending and um it's working in the bar and then going straight to bed and not taking a shower oh. mm yeah like are you traditionally a night shower or a morning shower guy or uh you, you, or shower as needed both what's okay both yeah like okay, shower as like, needed but then like I'll, I'll you know i mean like it's like all right well do you I didn't shower more last night, night. Day? like sometimes you, yeah but like sometimes it'll like be gun like, to your right, head morning or shower night shower. last night i got a shower in the morning if i didn't shower in the morning i had a shower at night you know and i mean like whatever um i don't go more than a day without a shower but so, do you, Coming do you, home, do you have like, do you lean heavy, like gun to your head if you had to choose one? Are you more of a morning shower guy or a night shower? Morning. Morning. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. But then like, but if then I like am if like, if I'm not going to shower at night before I get in the bed, I change my clothes. Hmm. Okay. Like, I definitely change my clothes. What Renee, the fuck are you, 12? I got a question for you. You're at the bar, late shift, uh, hot chicks at the bar. She wants to leave with you. She go, you go to her place, you hit. She doesn't want you to crash. You leave. Do you shower? Yes or no? Oh yeah, that's a that's a very a yeah. I don't care. I don't care if it's five a.m. and I'm yeah. fucked up. If I fuck I'm a, a bitch, you. Gotta, I'm a dirty I gotta boy. Shower as quickly as possible. Just, I am a dirty. Just in case. Not sitting in that. Wait, Renee, you going to sleep in that filth? No, I'm saying that's no, what I'm no. saying. I'm a dirty. I'm going to bed. Oh no, no, I'm taking a shower for yeah, sure. Yeah, no, yeah. Said, immediate uh, wash off. He's going immediate yeah. fucking. Yeah. I said, protocol. I said, yeah, I'm a dirty boy. I'm if it's a one nighter. But yeah, like I've only, like I said, I've only done it twice. The, and then the like, minute, and my, yeah, the minute I have a hundred and fucking thirty dollar fucking all I think uh, about quilt. It's my blanket is like a hundred and thirty fucking. Yeah, bucks. You're not trying to dirty like, it up, like, bitch. Like, aids. I, I've done it twice. And both times I've had to fucking do laundry. He, 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 he's, he's, he's trying to he wash the herpes in his off dirty before bowl. it settles. No, yeah, Renee, I, I guarantee Renee does the same shit as me. It's like the minute you're done hooking up with a bitch, it's like, okay, I got to get to a shower fucking pronto. And like the whole ride home or whatever, I'm like, shower, shower, shower. Got to get to the <laughs> fucking shower. I get in yeah. and it's it's like a you you shower like four times. You like scrub your you scrub your dick as if you think that. <laughs> 
you you could get you got herpes and in your mind you're like i'm still in the window where i could scrub it off my body yeah you, i go i'll go like four or five off and you're like oh fuck i get the hpv now get straight up off. fucking uh, uh ace ventura but that doesn't Finkler, matter Einhorn, that just hurts bitches einhorn is finkel fucking straight up shower bleach on your fucking junk yep done <laughs> Oh uh, god damn it! Those are those are good. I like those. Oh fuck! I was going to die of HPV. <laughs> oh, you got you got any? New oh, ones? you got herpes? No, uh, I don't. I almost uh, I almost shit my pants the other day playing boot butt. I, 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 I came like, like I real close. I still I still piss in the sink at work though. Oh, that's fucking what it was. That's fucking what it was. The other day it was the what? the 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 fucking uh. The, the, the toilet was goddamn it, it, occupado it was being used and I had to fucking piss and I fucking went in the sink and it was like perfect dick height it was fucking it was like a standing it was like a urinal and it was great yep. you get the water running if you're really self conscious about the smell you sp- sp- couple spritzes of the soap just get it going down the drain with it and shit fucking mm, magical the whole shit started off a fucking Hannibal Burris joke I swear fucking- to god no one pissed in the sink D- not regularly true i've been doing that i've been did. not regularly but i'm not going to pretend like i haven't done it probably at least once a year there's at least once a year where i piss in a sink oh no i do it every shift i mean sometimes dude it, of course it, you it do. depends there's certain there's certain places i've been to where i look at their sink <laughs> and i'm like i'm like their sink just makes too much sense to be a fucking urinal and <laughs> fucking over time i had to put his face away <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> Got him. <laughs> Fucking dickhead. But right. no, no. <laughs> dude, the last I time I, dude, the last time I pissed in a sink was probably in Puerto Rico. <laughs> 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 yeah. Boricua. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, I just dude. fucking I live out in the country, so I just piss outside. None of you guys oh, can relate. So good. So good. I can't take at my I can't parents' take house. At my parents' house, I can go up. I can go out back and piss, and it's fucking. Uh, I used. Yeah, I, yeah. Can, I can piss in the front yard. No one can still see me. Fuck that shit. That's, I don't care. That's that's Bullshit. by the by the I've way. Seen... That's that's how I saw one of the times I'm like eighty percent sure I fucking saw a UFO was pissing outside like that. It was like we my the only working bathroom at our house was in my parents' room. The hallway bathroom was being remodeled. And it was like four a.m. I was playing video games. And I'm like, I'm not walking to my fucking parents' bath like bedroom and waking their ass up. So hey. I just went out back and I'm pissing. And I like looked up and there was like, I swear to God, it felt like maybe 300 to 500 feet in the air, like real fucking like scarily close. Just like a fucking light was just sitting there. And like there was this like kind of low, like whirling sound. And I was like looking at it and I wasn't, I wasn't fucking groggy. Like I wasn't asleep. I was like up playing video games and I was just kind of like looking at it. I was like, what the fuck? And then all of a sudden there was just like a, pew, and it just like in a fucking set, like it like shot away and there was like a, a little bit of like a kind of dusty trail and then it just like real quick dissipated. And I remember I was like, deuces, went inside and I like went immediately to bed. I was like, fuck that. All because I went outside to piss, but still fucking swear by outside pissing. It's the best. Outside the way pissing God is intended. the best. You're way more free. I feel like Ameri- a, a true free American every time I take a piss mm-hmm. outside. Facts, dude. And I do not envy you, you city motherfuckers ever <laughs> so um should we, should we look no, at these joey these joey gross. before we wrap up this episode of perfectly misfit is there anything else you want to um yeah there's these two gross videos you fuck oh. Quit trying to cuck me on my own podcast son of a bitch <laughs> this is a swap <laughs> cast okay it doesn't mean we fucking swap host duties swap cast it means we're all hosts. Gotta fuck means we're all hosts. we're all pulling our weight here okay we're all we're all pulling our own bounce pass throughout the episode <laughs> All right, let's look at these two fucking gross videos. That's gonna be my new mind freak. Swap cast. Swap cast. And then O-Turn just fucking, fucking just, just because he, just he wanted to make sure I had to do one more edit. <laughs> fucking swear to God, oh, he killed me. All right, this one, this is just fucking wild. Oh, dude, yo. look at this dude's teeth. He got yo. You see me? You see me? You guys? Yeah. You guys yeah, see me? I see whole gums dick. got ripped out. Oh my dick. Oh my dude, dick. His fucking the gum here shredded and got pushed back with a punch hi that, christina how is that not like permanent damage dude that, that's fucked looking that's gonna require some surgery that's fucked uh, i mean his teeth weren't great to begin with but fuck me in the ass that's <laughs> awful is he british originally i mean <laughs> Might as well if be. he wasn't then he is now <laughs> jesus this is am I gross? <laughs> yeah, for dude. getting my fucking teeth fucking broken. 
All right, this is the last one, and then we'll wrap her up. Oh, Jesus. And I'll skip through this one several times because, yeah, dude, look at this. This bitch pulls a tapeworm out of his nose. This is a live tapeworm. He definitely should have let it go to his stomach. He's still fat. Do we need to get the doctor in here? Do we need to get the doctor in here? Yes, bitch. But what I, I'm gonna skip through this stuff. I watched this whole video. The thing that pisses oh. me off the whole time is this bitch keeps trying to like whoever is over here, maybe wife or kid or whatever, keeps asking questions and she she keeps like kind of like half sobbing me and like, oh, you know, it's interesting because but and I'd be like, can you get the thing out of my fucking nose, whore? Like she literally no takes shit. her sweet at like watch. I'm gonna jump a full minute and a half. Nine minutes. Do we need to what the fuck? That's the progress they've made in a minute because she's talking and being like. You know, they can okay. segment and fucking, hey, don't tell me they can segment. Just pull it out of my fucking nose, whore. Let's jump. We're at two minutes. Let's jump to three and a half minutes. No progress. No progression. Uh, oh, dude, it's nasty as fuck. Five minutes. How did that even happen? Why happen? am I he on probably... this podcast? Why am I on this podcast? Why am I on man. this podcast? He ate some, you know what? You know why? Because you know why he got this? all the way cooked. See, they didn't listen to Perfectly Misfit where, you know, they'll talk about the meals they've had, maybe some of the restaurants they've eaten at. And I bet they haven't eaten at a place that the Perfectly Misfit boys have recommended because they don't be eating at fucking places where you can get tape on. Dude, dude, it's like, wriggling. This is a pork thing. And your stomach still feels weird. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy fuck, that's long. Again, he should have let it go to his stomach and eat all the food. Dude, look at it. Just, I would be freak. I'm like, don't let it touch my lips, you fucking gross bitch. Tapeworm. It just reminds me of the fucking Ugh, system of a downtown. It's like down touching song. his face and stuff, dude. I'd be fucking vomiting. I'd be like, get it off me, dude. Put it in a paper towel. I don't want it touching my fucking face. Put the goddamn dentistry bib on me. Uh-oh. She cut that bitch in half. Well, that's the thing. She thinks that she she broke him off. And the guy the guy is like, oh the guy for the rest of the video is just like, no, I think you got it. Of course he's got gauged ears. Yeah, right, dude. When he turns over, it's the first thing I thought, too. This fucking dirty asshole. Dude, look, and then just, I'd be like, can you, ma'am, can you get that away? I don't want it hovering above my fucking Next time face. I'm on. Why are people being dirty? Oh, dude, he's like Let's listening that to the thing. Grateful Dead and everything right now. Fuck. God damn, that's fucking gross. Fuck. fucking. I, I'm just Ugh. trying to figure out what life do you live where that can happen to you. You eating fucking nasty pigs that are fucked in the ass by hillbillies and then like made into pork chops or something. I don't know. I, uh, incest honestly, pigs. I have no idea. I said pig at pork in general, but because I know pork have a sense. lot of, they have a lot of parasites if you don't cook them right. Yep. Fucking I gross. am. Well, now that we're all feeling fucking real grossed out, uh, fucking, I'm, a little, I'm a little disturbed. He's a cunt. I don't know. I, <laughs> Any, fuck, uh, anybody, anybody, anybody want to plug anything else before we go? <laughs> Another <laughs> great episode. I don't want to finish this beer. It's another right. great episode of Perfectly Thank you, Misfit. thank you for having us on Perfectly Misfit. We, 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 uh, me and Joe, we appreciate it. Listen to SCC every week if you can. If you can, if you're if you're not too bogged down listening to Perfectly Misfit, give it a listen yeah. to SCC. Yeah, yeah, no, this is definitely a shit talking cunt episode. Not a Jesus Christ. <laughs> you broke. No, Dan. I, I'm shook, man. You broke Dan. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Let's see, I don't know what's what is, worse. What looking is, at the taper or looking all... at O trying to triangle his small penis. It's not small, trust me. I measured it recently. <laughs> Bro, everyone else can see it's small. I mean yeah, to get an updated measurement. <laughs> it's I mean, oh you're, uh, you're literally it's longer than that ta- it's longer than oh, that tapeworm. Oh that. literally, your hands look bit like <laughs> like enormous next to your dick. <laughs> <laughs> My dick's right here though. Hey, oh, Oh, you're framing your dick up. I can see it oh. perfectly. We can all see it. Oh, Everyone dude, can see yeah. it, and I'm telling you. You can you can say you're a grower. It was not like a shower, but, it was like uh, Andre. It like, was like Andre the soft. Giant like was holding a baby this. carrot. For a soft, it's longer than this. I mean, I can't believe I can't believe we fucking. I feel so bad that we just fucking we <laughs> broke we broke Dan. Dan's never gonna come back. All right, it's, it's the pebble hollow. 
<laughs> All right, motherfuckers. Thanks for watching. Rockefeller Records, man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Tune in next week, motherfuckers. Stay wet. Peace.